talks about the Philippines and Japan signing an agreement akin to the Visiting Forces Agreement between the U.S. and the Philippines have been making the rounds on social media for months already, but there appears to be no end in sight until now. But thanks to the ramming incident in the West Philippine Sea recently, starring the Chinese Coast Guards picking on a weak neighbor, the Philippines, the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is arriving in Manila today, November 3rd, 2023, for a two-day summit with President Bongbong Marcos to boost bilateral ties and help Manila deal with growing Chinese aggression, according to analysts. The Kishida visit comes on the heels of the near collision of China's Coast Guard ship with a Philippine civilian ship. The civilian ship was hired by the armed forces of the Philippines to do a supply run to the Philippine Marines stationed in BRP Sierra Madre. Both Japan and the Philippines have border disputes with China. The allegation of trespassing and violating the sovereignty of a Philippine Navy ship in China's territorial waters must have been all the spark needed to make Japan and the Philippines move the needle in their talks to sign the RAA, or Reciprocal Access Agreement, sooner than planned. Moreover, China's growing military power and assertiveness in the region have led to increased security concerns for both Japan and the Philippines. According to Japanese reports and Max Defense Philippines, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida will be laying the groundwork for the proposed Reciprocal Access Agreement RAA, between the two countries as part of Japan's effort to form quasi-alliances with other like-minded U.S. allies as part of efforts to increase security capability and relations as China's actions have become more aggressive. The RAA is similar to the Visiting Forces Agreement VFA, which would be the legal framework to cover the visits of military forces from both countries. Once ratified, both countries will be the third to have such agreements with each other, as the Philippines already has a VFA with the US and Australia, while Japan already has an RAA with the UK and Australia. The RAA benefits both parties in light of China's aggressive behavior towards their neighbors with whom they have territorial disputes. China and Japan are rivals in Asia, and the Philippines is also being threatened by China in the South China Sea. So, it is only natural for Japan and the Philippines to gravitate toward each other and form an alliance to discourage the bully from picking on the weakest link, which sadly is the Philippines. Now let us talk about what Japan will offer to its poorer ally, the Philippines, so that he can defend himself from the big, nasty bully named China. As per the Facebook post of Max Defense Philippines as well as the Japan News, Japan is going to hand over to the Philippines coastal and air defense radars and patrol boats and vessels. While the AFP previously confirmed that Japan may also provide aircraft, including helicopters and other excess defense articles. Max Defense Philippines mentioned before that there is also interest in tanks and armored vehicles, helicopters and light aircraft that are considered EDA, excess defense articles. At the same time, there were also reports before that Japan is interested in transferring technology for the development of armored vehicles and defense subsystems, including electronics and other materials and equipment. Also eyed are increased joint training and exercises involving Philippine and Japanese forces, including training in amphibious operations, submarine warfare, offshore resupply operations, and other scope, SME exchanges, officer schooling, and an increased number of visits by JSDF ships and aircraft. So how are all these possible? Well, in case you missed it, the law creating Japan's official security assistance program was passed by its parliament in April this year. The law, which is called the Act on the Provision of Defense Equipment and Services for International Peace and Security, provides the legal framework for Japan to provide defense equipment and services to other countries. The Philippines will be the first country, according to Max Defense Philippines' sources, to benefit from it. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more news on military and security issues. What do you think about Japan's decision to provide security assistance to the Philippines? Let me know in the comments below.